Hey, it's Suzanne Mosley with Esborne Books and More. I'm excited to show you today our science experiment, whoops, that's the back, our science experiment and activity books. Now I, whew, I'm all over the screen here, isn't that funny? So I get questions a lot of times from our customers, what's the difference in your science activity and experiment books? So I thought I would make a quick video to show you um, how they're the same and how they're different. So these are combined volumes. These three books, there's volume one, two, and three. They actually are a combined volume of three different Esborn books. So you can buy individually Science with Water or Science with Magnets, Science with Light and Mirrors. Um, and the other three have volume two has Science with Air, Science in the Kitchen, Science with Plants. Volume three, Science with Batteries. Science with your body, science with the weather. Now, these do have activities. Um, they're not grandiose experiments. But these don't, you know, maybe depending on, some of them only take about five minutes, some five to 20, five, 15 to 20. But they are written in more of like a narrative format. It kind of tells you what to do, and it just gives you some more information along the way um, about what's, uh, what's taking place, kind of the background behind. I'm going to show you a sneak peek in one of the other ones. It's kind of the same way, too. Um, so it does give you a little information about um, the scientific um, background related to that. Um, so a little bit there. And then our science experiments. I love this one. Um, well, first of all, it gives you an explanation of what of the science behind it and a what's going on a box. So there's another one. What's going on? Um, what I like about all of these, honestly, is Hallmark with Esborn. There's step by step. So it gives you step by step exactly what you're supposed to do. And then it, I like this one. This book in particular has more pictures of each step, like a picture or illustration to go along more so with what you're doing. And I'm just not always calm. I love science, but I'm not always confident in what I'm doing. So I really like that it uh, explains it, what's going on, and then also has pictures uh, for each step. And then lastly, 365 Science Activities. This is just a really fun book. If you have a child that loves um, science, this literally gives you an activity to do every day. Oh, we did this one. Super, super fun. Buzzing fizz. So each colored number is the activity. Uh, this is number 22, Funky Froth. Number three, Fizzing Sherbert. So they're quick. I mean, this is this is the activity here. Buy a tub of sherbet and dab some on your tongue. Can you feel it fizzing? And then this little dotted rectangle here explains the science behind it. Um, kind of what's going on. Not in great detail, um, but just enough for a child. And so they're just really quick, but they're really, really fun. Um, so you can't, you don't necessarily follow the scientific method and come up with a hypothesis and have your, um, you know, your results and your conclusion kind of thing, but they all are science related and they're different activities that are appropriate for children. Um, and there's 365 and actually there's even a, a, a one extra one. So if you have a leap year, you can have an exper experiment, an activity for leap year. So uh, I hope this peek inside uh, video of these different science activity books was helpful and beneficial as you weigh these amazing options. There's, they're all great. That's the bottom line. So if you have other questions or if I can help you with any way, feel free to contact me uh, here on YouTube or through my Facebook page, both of which are Suzanne Shares Esborn Books. If you'd like to order any of these books, hop on my website, SuzanneSharesEspornBooks.com. And I appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming by.